once our data flow is get ready it's time to move the data flow from one environment to another environment which we call as deployment or some people say it as migration hey everyone this is prashant chaudhary i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video our focus is to move the data flow which we have created inside the development environment we will push it towards the production environment so let me just take you to my screen here i have created one data flow which one is my let it load outlet sync job the thing is how we can deploy it to the production if you try to click on these three dots we can't see any option to export but we can follow the typical approach that is simply adding the data flow into the solution and then doing the exporting and importing but there are different behavior of this out data flows in the solutions it's not like the any other component like whenever we deploy the application power automate other things data flow would have the different behavior let me just show you let's first create a solution i think i can already use the existing solution yes okay i can use it i have this solution which whose name is test okay please ignore the naming conventions okay now our work is to add the data flow and since data flow is an automation so we'll go to the automation and then we can find this here data flow now we can add our data flow our data flow is already saying and then add no matter what is the database from where it is fetching the data whether it's the sharepoint or maybe the azure place or maybe xql any database we always try to add the required objects but when we hit this it would not add anything okay so in this example this data flow is fetching the data from one of my sharepoint list from the my production site okay i'm treating this as my development site okay from this site i have a list is outlet okay and storing it to my one of my data was stable present in this environment now i need to export this and import into my another environment for now i'm just using the managed only let's see how it work so i'm just uh, pausing this video in the meantime so that it can export and i can import it to the destination environment okay